Throughout history, Black churches have stood as beacons of hope, resilience, and strength for the Black community. In the segregated South, they were more than just places of worship. They were sanctuaries that represented unity and family. The Moses Baptist Church and Allen Chapel AME Church are two historic institutions that have offered education, spiritual guidance, and opportunities for the local Black population to gather. During the era of the Chitlin Circuit, music wasn't just heard. It was felt, experienced, and cherished. It worked as a sacred bond that united people, much like the music in the churches. Historian and owner of Finding Our Roots Museum, Margie Scobie sheds light on the multifaceted views that shape our understanding of history's melodies. The churches was a stepping stone for a lot of things that happened. Um, many times, the music, you hear the style of music came in from religion. You know, when they, um, they had certain things. And a lot of times people got offended because when you use that same style of music, you know, on what they call the, the world or, or the old people call um, in the world of, of the devil or the circuit world, you know, they would say, you don't take God's music and use it out here. But many times they did because of the, um, it came out of the church. As the echoes of music still resonate through the walls of these churches, they not only serve as places of worship, but also as hubs where the black community can find strength and a shared sense of purpose. Patrick Bell, the leader of the congregation at the Allen Chapel AME Church, describes the connection shared between the churches and the community and emphasizes on the importance of nurturing unity and support. Uh, we got some very talented people in our churches, um, but unfortunately they had not been given opportunity or had not pursued opportunities where they can really uh, do some uh, great work. You know, because sometimes they feel unworthy or sometimes they... Uh, the, the opportunity, they just don't know that the opportunities exist. And so, uh, and that's why it's important that we, the church does those kind of things, particularly for those of us that are pastors or people that are leaders in the churches, when we have access to those kind of resources, that we share them with, uh, with the church and with the community. So I believe the church serves as the hub for the community. All right. Uh, so it's not just for our members, but it's for the uh, community at large. In times of joy and celebration, as well as moments of adversity and challenge, these sacred spaces have remained interconnected. Hubert Johnson, superintendent of the Moses Baptist Church's Sunday School, describes how these historic churches support one another, transcending differences in religious backgrounds. We work together, even with our Catholic Church, St. Luke, and the same thing. But um, we're, we're, all of the people are all mixed up. Catholic. Protestant, Methodist, we, and we all get together because we all went to, we went to school together, so we had to be together some, somewhere during the course of a day, and so we, 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 we are still working together. For generations past and present, the legacy of the Black churches lives on, a testament to the resilience, creativity, and enduring spirit of the African-American culture.